بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہم رب زدن علما صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین In this lecture I will discuss the important concepts of integration of odd powers of sin theta and cos theta for this lecture, I am using the work of one of my best students, Ms. Sayyidah Fiza of class 2020, the Lyceum. An important advice for me and for everyone, we must be soft to others. Integration of odd powers of sine function and cos function. These are some important examples of odd powers of sine and cos. Only power 3 and 5 are in this syllabus. So to integrate sine cube x, cos cube x, cos power 5x and sine power 5x, follow these steps. Step number 1. Break the given power into 1 and n minus 1. For example, to integrate sine cube x, break this power 3 into 1, power 1 and 3 minus 1 which is 2 n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 in this case and why do we split this power into 1 and remaining power we split this power into 1 so that we can get the differential for basic formula 1 this will become the differential of cos function for basic formula 1 later on so this is the differential of cos function for basic formula 1 this is step number one now function is absent differential is here step number two bring the function for basic formula one and for that use this identity we need cos square x or cos x here so by using this identity over here we have brought the function cos for this differential because this sign is the differential of this cos. Now step number 3 is simplify the function. We just need to multiply sign with both the functions and we need to uh, distribute this sign of integral and this integral operator to both the functions like this. When you will multiply sign with this you will get sin x dx integral. When you will multiply sin x with this, you will get cos x whole square and sin x and dx. Now, this is the structure of basic formula 1. See, this sin x is the differential of this cos. And that is why we split this power into 1 and remaining power. Because this is the differential of this function. And here we use the identity to get cos x here. That's the logic of these two steps. The first step is bring the differential and the second step is bring the function and the third step is simplify this in, uh, function. And the last step is integrate this. So when sine power is 1, we can easily integrate it. The integral of sine power 1x is minus cos x and this is basic formula 1. See the differential of this cos is minus sine x. So sin x is here but minus 1 is missing. So according to basic formula 1 we need to copy this cos here. We need to add 1 into this power 2. So this power will become 3. And we need to divide this cos cube by the resultant power and by the missing differential. This is the way we integrate function through basic formula 1. So remember these steps. Number 1 is split power into 1 and remaining power. Number 2 use the identity. Number 3 simplify the function. And number 4 integrate with the help of basic formula 1. I already have done this question in the steps concepts. So I am leaving this question. Next question. Now to integrate cos cube x, follow the four steps. So number one, step number one, 
split this power into 1 and 2. See, power 1 is here and power 2 is here. This will become the differential for sine function later on. Now bring the function and for that use the identity here. This is step number 2. Step number 1 is split the power. Step number 2 use the identity. And step number 3 simplify this function in integral. Multiply cos with this and this. So when you will multiply cos with this you will get this thing. When you will multiply cos with this you will get this thing. Now this is the structure of basic formula 1. And the differential of this sign is cos x. So according to basic formula 1, copy this function here, add 1 in power and divide this sine q by the resultant power. And when we have a cos power 1, we have the integral of cos power 1. It's sine x. So this is the way to integrate odd powers of cos function. Power 5. Again we have to use the same concept, step number 1, split this power into 1 and remaining like 5 minus 1 which is 4, so 1 and 4, so 1 is here and 4 is here. Now this is the differential for basic formula 1 for sin x. Now here we have to use the identity because we need sin x here because this is the differential of sin, so we need the function sin. And for that we need to use identity here. So first write cos power 4 as cos square x whole square. This is the step number 2. Use the identity. 1 minus sin square x. And this is the step number 3. Simplify this integral. First expand this. And then simplify it. This is step number 3. This one. When you will multiply cos with this, you will get this cos. With this, you will get this thing. When you will multiply cos with this, you will get this thing. Cos power 1, we have direct integral of cos power 1, which is sine. Now, this is basic formula 1 and this is also basic formula 1. So, the differential of sine is cos. It's here. So, according to basic formula 1, copy sine here, add 1 in power and divide sine cube by the resultant power. This is the differential of this sign. So according to basic formula 1, this will become sin power 5x and divided by 5. And this is the constant of integration. So this is the way to integrate odd powers of sin and cos. I am leaving this question for you. You can solve this uh, yourself. I hope this lecture will help you to understand how to integrate odd powers of sine and cos. Good luck to everyone and I am extremely thankful to Ms. Sayyida Fida who helped me to make this lecture. May Allah bless her always. Ameen. Allah Hafiz.